Hey everybody, it's Shelby here at Studio Maestro at Shuffles Tap and Musical Theater School. And today I'm gonna teach you the second step of the Shim Sham. We call this step the crossover step. And while I've told you in past videos that the Shim Sham is a dance that is universally known, that is true, but there are two different versions of this step. Some people start this step on count eight and some people start this step on count one. Um, the East Coast tends to do it on eight. So I, being someone that is currently in New York and that learned the Shim Sham in New York, I'm going to teach you the East Coast version. And um, so every now and then when we get on stage, we end up sort of clashing with each other and it's almost part of the fun that half the people are stepping on one and half are stepping on eight. Um, I'm gonna teach you the version that steps on eight because I am in New York. So let's get started on the crossover step, the second step of the Shim Sham. The second step of the Shim Sham, the crossover step, like I said, is going to start on count eight in this version. And all we're gonna do is stamp down, flat footed on our right foot. From there, we're going to step on our left, which is not flat footed. One, stamp, step, stamp. So all together, there are five sounds, three stamps and two steps. Eight, one, two, three, but we end on count four since we started on count eight, not one. From there, before we try to cross this, which would make it the crossover step, let's first understand what our feet are doing. Instead of doing step heel, which is a step we're very used to doing, we're going heel step, so it feels a little bit up. We're gonna heel on the foot we're standing on, which is the right foot in this case. Heel step, which of course does not put your heel down. And then you're gonna drop that heel, heel step. There's a big pause between those two, and so we might as well start getting used to it now, even before we talk more specifically about the rhythm. You're gonna go heel step, heel step. Now, if that feels comfortable, we need to cross over this step. So we're going to go heel cross, but we're still just on our toe only. Then we're going to drop that one, heel uncross. All together, that step looks like this. Now our left foot is free, and we're going to do the exact same thing on the left. Stamp, step, stamp, step, stamp, heel, cross, heel, cut, cross. Now we're going to do it a third full time on the right again. Take one, two, three, four, heel, cross, heel, uncross. That all happens, right foot, then left foot, then right foot. But then, instead of the shim sham break, this one step of the shim shim has its own break. And what we're gonna do is one stamp and then go into our heel cross. So instead of five sounds, we're only making one. Stamp, we go right into our heel cross. Heel cross, heel uncross, and then again, one stamp, stamp. Heel cross, heel uncross. Now, you can think of that as the end of this entire step, but I like to sort of prepare for what's coming next and think of that as part of this step. So my left is free. So I'm going to go stamp on the left, stomp on the right. To be ready for the third step, the tap in. So the break alone goes left foot, heel cross, heel cross, right foot, heel cross, heel cross, stamp, stamp. That's all there is to it. So let's put this entire thing together. Three times all the way through, and then our shortened break, which goes to the left and to the right, ending with our stamp stop. Starting on eight, five, six, seven, eight, one. Heel cross, heel cross, left foot go. Heel cross, heel cross, right foot again, third time. Heel cross, heel cross. Break to the left. Rhythmically, because we're starting this step on count eight, we're going to have some quarter notes and then we're going to swing and the exact counts sound like this. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, ah, a seven. 
Eight, one, two, three, four, five, a, a seven. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, a, a seven. Eight, one, a, a three, four, five, a, a seven, a eight. Um, make sure that pause is really prominent in each step between five, a, a seven. Heel cross, heel uncross. Let's try the crossover step together, starting on the right foot on count eight. Five, six, five, six, seven. So that was the shim sham crossover step. People sometimes add frills and interesting little scuffs and things like that, but I'm just teaching you the most basic version of this step. So I hope you found it helpful. And of course, request if you want more of the shim sham, um, some other pieces of rep that I could teach you. Um, anything you request, I will make it for you. So I will see you in our next video and thanks so much for watching. Bye.